This Ocean Alexander made a straight run in the Gulf Stream from Miami all the way up to Beaufort, Moorhead City, North Carolina, in the ocean, and he did not have enough tankage built into the boat, so he put some portable fuel cells or fuel bladders on deck. Each one of these bladders holds 150 gallons each, so there's 150 gallons, and on the far side is another 150 gallons, and you can see two more bladders that are rolled up right here. They were on the bow, which is kind of frightening for me because I would be worried about stability concerns. Diesel fuel weighs seven pounds per gallon times 300 gallons up here on the bow of the boat. I just don't know how comfortable I would be doing that. So if you're looking for long-range cruisers, I suggest you buy one instead of customizing a boat that does not have the long range that you prefer and do not put fuel bladders on deck. In addition to stability concerns, you also have to look at each one of these bladders, 150 gallons times 7 pounds per gallon. Will the deck structure support that additional weight? So think about all these things when you're buying a cruising boat. Do you have the long legs? Do you have the fuel capacity? And are your engines strong enough? And don't drink that much diesel per hour or per mile to get your boat on that long distance cruise. If you want to learn more about long distance cruising, you know who to call. Ask Captain Chris.